I know that you guys are writing each day in your journal about your experience with the coronavirus pandemic and staying at home, doing your part to slow the spread of this virus. And I wanna thank you all for keeping your distance and staying at home. I know it's difficult not to be with your teachers and friends, but I can tell you that working here, it's so important to us. So we have enough staff and equipment to take care of anyone that can come in and have this virus. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a few things to keep me protected. I have a mask on. Uh, I also have a face shield to protect my eyes. And I also have a surgical cap on to protect my hair from getting any germs in it. I'm also wearing hospital um, surgical scrubs that I change into when I get to work. And then we're not allowed to wear them home. We leave these scrubs here and they get cleaned here at the hospital. So we don't take germs into our cars. I wanted to show you a machine called a ventilator. That's a machine that we can use to help people breathe while their lungs heal and their body fights the virus. So with the doctors, we help put the person to sleep and we can put a breathing tube in to breathe for them. And we use the ventilator to give them air and oxygen and let them rest. I'm gonna see if I can flip my camera here. So here we have the ventilator on right now. It's giving me lots of different numbers and information that I need to know and tell the doctors um, how we can best help each person breathe. We have tubing coming out here, then attaches to a breathing tube that would go inside their trachea or their windpipe. And then this balloon here represents the lung. And so you can see it kind of going up and down, and that's the ventilator giving a breath in and out. So that's an awesome tool that we can use um, to help these patients recover and let them rest. Not everybody needs a ventilator, but this is one of the tools that we use the most for the sicker patients. Again, I wanna say thank you all for being so kind and staying at home, washing your hands, and helping us do our part uh, to fight this virus. Stay safe and healthy and wash your hands.